guys, this is Dane. Welcome back to my channel, Filipino Nurse Retires Home. I hope everybody is doing fine, okay? We're still having problem with our COVID, but you know what? I'm over that. I live myself uh, right now. I'm re really living comfortably and I have no restriction. I still use my PPE and uh, mask and my alcohol. That's going to be a part of living everywhere in the world okay because virus is all over anyway so might as well continue on because you cannot afford to go to the hospital because it's so expensive even with insurance and i know about that uh, i have traveled to the er for about four hours because of some problem with my reflux it cost me about 3500 and Insurance covered maybe two thousand. I still have about over a thousand dollars for four hours work. Did not even do any, just blood work, and that's it. Blood work and EKG, and it cost me about about fourteen hundred after the insurance. I don't know, but anyway, everything is catastrophic. So stay safe all the time today's topic is different before i get too far by the way i would like to to uh, tell you that i really appreciate everybody's involvement in my channel if you have not subscribed please do and if you find my videos positive and will uh, help other people could you please do that okay now to this topic today is about philippine retirement Will maintaining a Western type of living standard affects our kind of retirement in the Philippines? All right. I want to be honest with you. Honestly, I want convenience. Okay. Living in America for 40 years, I know what convenience is, but I had to pay for it. I have to work for it. My butt off. Okay. It's not only little work. But it's a stressful condition to be able to have a nice living Western standard. Because there's a lot of American who really does not live a Western standard. It's actually substandard and they live, live poorly. But um, fortunately, I was able to make a little living, a good one, and uh, able to um, afford the conveniences in the Western world. Now, if I carry that over in, United, in the Philippines during retirement, it really would help. And I tell you what, it's nice to, to uh, live comfortable after working for 40 years, okay? I deserve every bit of that. But if I cannot get that in the Philippines, if I would not have that Western standard of living and make do what I have, then... I, if I really not making good money or, or, or I'm not, I do not get any enough money, you know, then I would make do what we have. At least we have an option to go and uh, live there. But if I have the money and maintain my Western standard, it always helps, okay? Now, what is Western standard in my own definition? Number one, a home, okay? A home that has roof that has um, flooring, a nice flooring, okay, and um, air conditioning maybe, um, that is an option, okay. Um, I have to have a flushing toilet, a nice toilet, of course, and I have to have um, a sink, you know, and good food, of course, refrigerator and uh, insulation on my roof all right those are western standard and a steady flow of water okay now if i would say western standard that's only applicable inside my home and in the place inside my own place my private area like my property okay that's gonna be western standard however if i go out that's the reality. If I go out to the marketplace or to where the locals are, and that's when you, it will hit you that you are not in the Western world. Because, of course, you're going to see a lot of inconveniences there, like the road system, the traffic, 
and plenty of trash sometimes and people doing karaoke those things you cannot control so, but when you go home then you control that environment and that is yours so I do not know what kind of personality you have but I know who I am so and now I know my husband so he has almost the same personality I have and my 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 wishes he has that kind of standard also so those are the standards I would like to maintain. Another thing that would affect my the longevity there in the Philippines or my stay in the Philippines, I really need to have a helper. One that can do my yard because I cannot do it anymore here. Ten years from now, I probably would not be able to do a lot of yard work anymore. It's a big yard. So in the Philippines, I can get me a, a, a landscaper as well as a person to take care of the house and clean the house and cook our food. Those are the must that I have to have. And you know, I've worked so hard for a long, long time that I really um, deserve those. And my husband feels the same way. If we cannot get those, even just within our area, private area, then I would have to think about something else. I would probably have to go somewhere else. But if I can do that in the Philippines, then I will stay in the Philippines. And then another one that's very important for me, really, is the health insurance. I have not yet found anything yet. And I would see how much would that cost. It probably would cost a lot of money for both of us, though. But I hope my, um, so, no, my, so, my, my Medicare would not start. In, uh, it would take about three more years. No, 62. Yeah, three more years before my, um, I'll be 65. And I'm not going to worry about that. My, my husband is younger than me. So we have to purchase him for five years to have insurance. Otherwise, um, everything should be okay. If I can get those requirements, then that really would help the longevity or our decision and staying in the Philippines for good. I still would come to America every now and then to see my daughter. So it's hard to think about that, but that's gonna be another video, okay? My my that's gonna be my my fear in leaving United States. Not going to retire in the Philippines, but leaving United States and going to the third world. And I'm gonna tell you about that another in another video, okay? Alright guys, anyway, just to let you know guys and Stay safe. Bye-bye to you guys. Bye.